I'm Priscilla Batzel and this is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and that is a 16 by 20 inch canvas, 2 inches wide, gallery wrapped. This is my OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula by Good Grips on my Amazon link. You can find on my link tree. That's some water that shouldn't be there. I have a whole lot of prison pores and a couple of primary elements mixed up. My favorite being passion. That's a primary element. I have too many favorites of the others to tell you. There's a 20% off coupon below the video. This is Mayan Gold, and I think I'm going to start... Wow! <laughs> I'm going to start by bumping into the camera. In any case, I'm just going to put some paint down on the canvas and swipe over it with my spatula. And expect that the colors will work out. <laughs> It's sort of not a um, particularly thought out process. It's a lot more like a spontaneous process. But I'm going to do some, no paint chips allowed. I'm going to do some wintergreen. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video, by the way. I use both Vivid Poly Pour and Vivid Enamel as a base with some Jossonia varnish and uh, some GAC 800. That was the wintergreen. This is the cerulean blue, which obviously needs the top, the tip cleaned out. I have another bottle. I'll have to put that aside. Let's see if I have my other bottle handy. This has got the vivid enamel in it. And there's not a lot left in there, but I do want more than I have. And I'm not afraid to mix the Vivid Enamel with the Vivid Polypore. This is my Fandango. The, um, the Chantilly Lace and the Mayan Gold I started with are basically just highlights or something to give me sort of a basis to... just a place to start, basically. This is Tuscan Sun. I gotta stop myself from continuously putting the tops back on. This is a little sour lemon with some orange crush in it. And some things are just for trial and error at this point. I have some black iris. I believe this is Royal Sapphire, which reminds me I wanted to get out some Arabian Sea and I can see it from where I'm at, so maybe I'll do that in a moment. Arabian Sea is another primary element. It's a wonderful color. I have a hard time using blue without purple. So this is some Twilight Orchid. I will continue on, but I think I'm going to start. Every time I go to start, I think, what other color would be good with the color I have? And so I'm going to throw in a little bit of Midnight Shadow. Just because it's dark. And also a little bit of Blue Velvet. Both over here. And if I do it here, it's bound to become green, but it's a start. Just find a place to put it down. And whatever else I want is all available beside me. I was going to do one with pinks, but I guess that's coming. to scrape off my spatula. I got that green I was thinking I was going to get. A lot of it. A lot more of it than I was expecting. Just makes me want a whole bunch of purple. 
I got some there. So no matter how this turns out, I can always use my sticks to dip and dip and stamp tomorrow. Or a toothy tool at any given point in time. Loving that purple. So that's my start. And that makes me want to have some poinsettia. Some hot orchid. A little bit of that passion that's the primary element. I opened some Pink Lady, which doesn't seem to want to, probably didn't open it all the way. And I have some Pink Diamond and Pink Carnation. That's not <laughs> invited to this party. This is the Pink Diamond that's obviously not freely. Hmm. I want that out of there. <laughs> so there's going to be a whole lot of pink diamond in a second. And I guess we'll work with, we'll figure out what's going on after that. I wanted some pink carnation. And at least this one is And since I'm right here, I'm going to go ahead and give myself whatever I can get of the Orange Crush, which does not seem like it's going to be a lot. It's going to be the same gig, and I can't do that. There we go. Because once you take the top off orange and put it down, then you're probably going to have some real issues with how much paint. Let's just go ahead and use some more of that Sour Lemon. Whoops which exploded. Obviously the tip worked itself out. I'm going to scrape off my spatula and give it a wipe. Take all my colors right off my spatula. Probably pick them up again. And use them. So now that I have something of a color scheme going, I'm going to try and fuse the cerulean blue again. What there is of it. And a few other blues, including the blue velvet. I might want a little bit of that Fandango in there. I might want a little bit more than a little bit, actually. Okay, so I want something that's... I want my African Violet that I just mixed up. And it is right in front of me. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. I think I meant to use, and I'm not sure if I used any of the Raven C, so that now is as good a time as any. If I didn't use it, I'm going to use it now. It might be really fast. I did black the sides of my canvas before I started, just in case. It's nice to take the paint off in between. So I don't muddy the colors I've got. And I am going to pull those right up in, even if they're a little muddy, because they will help everything else pull down in a second when I move in the other direction. I want more gold. I might want some Chantilly Lace, too. I 
I don't know what it's like to put this over the top of the other colors, but I suspect it can't drown them out, so... We shall find out together in a moment. I'm glad that's a bubble, because generally speaking, I forgot to pull my tweezers out of wherever they're hiding, and I like to have my tweezers. They're probably in the bottom of my, my bucket. Still going to put that over there and wipe that off. I've got sometimes those rough little marks from the spatula are just what I need to add some interest to something. Now, am I done? I'm not sure. kind of simplistic. Just making sure there's no canvas showing. And I can actually use my spatula if I want to pick the drips up off the sides. And there are some over here, which might be fun to add some purple in there, I think. Maybe some Twilight Orchid. And I want some darker purple, which is going to imply deep amethyst. And hope my instincts are correct. I'm going to... Oh, am I? I was going to trust to leave that paint on the blade, but I'm not. I'm going to wipe it off just in case. Well, most of it anyway. I don't mind that. It's those little things that I do at the end that uncover some mysterious paint that we didn't know was hiding that really sometimes make these what they become. I have paint and I'm inclined to use it. Paint I scraped off. I kind of want some Tuscan Sun and I'm not sure if it's a good instinct or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. See, I'm not actually making a whole line. The cerulean blue is kind of calling me too. I feel poinsettia calling me. I'm hoping that it's the right call. I kind of want some lighter colored pink. I never did open the pink diamond bottle. I need to leave that someplace I can open that. Maybe I'll just use some of the passion. Passion with some Chantilly lace maybe. I gotta put that someplace I can find it, but it isn't in my way right now. There. That's what I needed. I needed some white and I think I'm going to do it again. And it sparkles like diamonds. Yes, I see that spot. That was maybe not my perfect swipe based on the fact that I annihilated some colors I really liked. But it doesn't mean that it's a done deal yet either. That was the Orange Crush. This is the Tuscan Sun. This is some paint residual off my spatula.
Here, I dug right down a canvas, which I don't think I really want to do right yet. I am getting close to being done. I think. Not 100% yet. Oh, that might have helped. That makes me want to put some more someplace else. I think this is the orange crush with some big apple in it. And I've got like two and a half minutes to tell you that I do sell my artwork when I'm not dripping it on my canvas. <laughs> now I'm not sure I actually need to do anything with that but it does make me like the stripes and think that I might want some more I guess that was not a complete I do like doing that I'm contemplating what to do about that right there but I think it's not that hard to get rid of and if I'd liked it I would have left it I like the Chantilly lace adding a little something something I'm wondering if I can finish in time I like these little anomalous things that I'm not supposed to like so if I want to go that way I want some of this right here on that blade. All right, if I'm gonna shimmer this at you, I better do it darn quick. I'm too busy having fun. So I love you guys and you inspire the heck out of me just in case you need to know that. <laughs> Yeah, and that once, that was the, um, the big apple added to the, orange crush, and I have a minute left to tell you guys I love you again, <laughs> and that I want one more white stripe, or one more white something. Not sure that's what I wanted up there so much. But by the time I finish pouncing my spatula on it, I will be more sure. So, that's pretty. And I still don't mind rubbing my spatula off on the edge with the colors. Don't forget there's a 20% off Prism Pour color, color art. Primary Elements coupon code below. Show more along with my link tree with all my links on it. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida. If I zoom in, I can sparkle some of that at you. Just really pretty stripes. Just some kind of wild jungle rainbow. <laughs> and I'm going to have to do flyover in a minute. Anything else that I need to do to this? There really aren't very many bubbles because the spatula sort of prevents that. I will see you guys in on. Check my Amazon link. If you shop there, it's at no what it cost you. And my two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities. They're the first and second 100 videos for I made for YouTube with all the tools and the recipes. Um, my recipes are under the video, under show more. I do sell my artwork. I mentioned that. I will be torturing just, just on general principles. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you make a 